For May's interview of the month, we are joined by immigration attorney David Asser and DACA recipient Julio Sepulveda to discuss the DACA dilemma. So um, I was brought to the country when I was six months old and just got through the whole education system. It didn't until I was uh, 18 when I couldn't apply for FAFSA or any financial aid, couldn't go to college, couldn't get that paid for. And then what my real goal was ultimately was to join the Marines and be a Marine. And that's, uh, that's why CIR really affects me because I'm, I'm kind of stuck in limbo at this point and can't really go and fulfill my dreams without uh, being a permanent resident. Well, the requirements for DACA is that you have to have entered the United States before you were 16 years old. And at the time that uh, you, uh, uh, that DACA came into effect on June 15, 2012, you were less than 31 years old as well. And you've had to have a, you have to have a high school diploma or enrolled in a, a college or a, a high school education. And you have to have a clean criminal record uh, too. So if you do meet those requirements and you can show the ongoing presence in the United States, you can file an application, it's $465, which is a lot of money for a lot of these young uh, kids. And it's only for a period of two years, but it doesn't provide a path to anything. And specifically for Julio, who wants to join the Marines, he can't. Um, the Marines won't enlist him, uh, and so even though he has been granted deferred action, he still can't get a driver's license in Arizona, he can't even get a proper ID in Arizona. I don't really have any place in the world right now because I'm here living in the U.S., I've grown up in the U.S., and I can't don't have any uh, status in the U.S., but it, let's say if I were to go back to Mexico, I was, uh, I've already integrated myself to the American lifestyle, so going back there would not benefit me in any way. I wouldn't be able to just hop back into regular life, and I definitely wouldn't fit in. Probably the fact that I, um, some provision that allows me to join the military, and from there it just, I mean, I think that's what would help me out the most. That's what. That's basically my hope for it. But I, I believe he represents what's good about America. And so if if he represents, in my view, what's good about America, then then he should get a chance to uh, to progress and, and to, to make something of himself, as, as he said. And it's not a second chance. It's just the first chance. And uh, that's my hope for comprehensive immigration reform, where people just get a chance.